I want you to think of yourselves. Any time you have been rebuked, what is your reaction? Just think of yourself as a believer. And let us not just go into another world and assume like what we are seeing here is not what happens with us. No, what we are seeing here is exactly what happens unto us. The question I want to ask you this evening is, when you have been rebuked of God through his word by the mouth of his servant, what is your reaction? Do you believe that what the man of God speaks preaching against your lifestyle is the word of God or you use that to look at the man of God as your enemy? Let me tell you the truth. Not only in the circle of the church, but we have people even in our houses, when you rebuke them, they don't consider what they are doing against the order, but they begin to look at you as an enemy. And this is very dangerous for brothers and sisters that are in marriage. If you are married to a partner whom when you rebuke cannot see the problem but turns the guns against you and begin to blame you and become emotional and that, that, then that means no communication, nothing is going on in the house, then you are dealing with a very dangerous person. You have to know that. You know we have to come to a point of realizing that a rebuke is good. If I rebuke my wife of something that she's doing which is not right, and such a thing is going to bring troubles in our family and make our union and friendship and relationship have troubles, she has to take that rebuke very positive and begin to see that, hey, this is our friend and he wants us to continue flowing rightly, therefore it is upon me to realize it and stop what I'm doing and love him even more because he has rebuked me. But you know what happens in major cases in families and relationships? The people that have been rebuked, they turn everything upside down and they begin to attack the person who is helping them to see that, hey, you are going to die. You are going to perish. If you ever be in any relationship whereby the person you are in the relationship with can never be corrected and any time you correct him or her, you become, to, you, you know, you, he or she begins to blame you then you have to know that if you have not gotten into marriage, consider first. Because once you get into marriage, and that is going to be the lifestyle, you will live a very painful life. One of the things that will help your relationship to go on fine, good, whether it is a marital relationship or whether it's just a general friendship, is when you are associating with yourself with the people who can be rebuked, who can be corrected and they say, thank you, thank you for helping me because I was getting lost. But when you rebuke people, when you show people, hey, this is not the way, stop this, and then they become emotional. They stop talking to you for three days. And they are waiting for you to come and say, I am sorry, I did not mean anything bad, I just wanted to correct. And they even bring you to a point of apologizing when they are the ones who did something wrong. That is wickedness. That is wickedness. And this is the problem of these people of Judah. Instead of telling Jeremiah, thank you so much, man of God. Thank you for opening up our ears and minds. We are going to change our mind now. No, they take guns. You are worthy of death. When you rebuke children, your children, when you are rebuking your children, hey, this is wickedness. Don't do this. And then they turn the guns against you and then they begin to call you an enemy. They begin to see you as a bad person. Hey, know that you are dealing with people that are not good. Because you know what? A rightful attitude, whether saved or unsaved, a rightful attitude of a human being should be that when you are rebuked, you consider. And don't hate a friend who is telling you the truth. So you know yourself, my question unto you was, how do you react? How do you take it when you are rebuked? And that is why most of us love people who deceive us and deceive us and lie unto us. You just want to be around people who tell you, ah, what you are doing is good. Follow your heart. You know, if it pleases you, but you have my support. When even you are going to perish, I think out of 10 people, you need someone who will tell you no. Where you are going is a dangerous place.